Hey guys, good to have you back. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands and I'm doing the 100 day project. Today is day 94. As you can see, I have a prototype on my desk. Uh, some of you may even recognize this. If you follow Joey the Fee, uh, if you don't follow Joey the Fee, why not? She's brilliant. Uh, she made this project a couple of days ago. I watched her video. I thought it was brilliant. I told her I think it's brilliant. And then she sort of challenged me. <laughs> She said, I think this is sort of your project to do. And I totally agree, Joey. So I'm going to give it a go. This is my prototype and I'm going to make another one. Let me show you what this uh, prototype looks like. Uh, for those of you who have not seen uh, Joey's video, I highly recommend watching it because she's very, very educational and entertaining. It is a trifold, yeah? It has that uh, closure on here that I've already used on another project before. And I must say, I think I saw it first at Joey's channel. I've used it on these um, envelopes that I made. These are wallpaper envelopes. Really, really cute one. I'll uh, link the video below or you can click there to see this video. So it's three pockets, three large pockets, top loading ones. One, two, three. And then I have made a pocket here. I've made sort of a pocket here. I also think on the one that they're making now, I want to put a pocket here. I don't know for sure. And then you close it like so. Joey made it so you could like... Um, glue it into your journal I would glue it like on three sides and have another top loading pocket but what I think I want to do and I don't know for sure I also want to decorate the back side of the new one so that you can give it in happy mail or something yeah okay let me show you what we'll be using for this project Joey has some beautiful large papers that came out of a binder that are very very tall and I believe hers were like 28 centimeters. Well, mine are not that tall. Well, nearly. Nearly. So, yes, these are large pages. Uh, she used the large ones. You can also use them in any size you like, basically, because it doesn't really matter. I have chosen some sort of uh, encyclopedia pages that had a lot of botanical stuff in it. Because, you know, still doing the botanical thing. And I think this would look nice. Yeah. So I'm going to use these pages. Then I want to use uh, glue, uh, scissors, a uh, ruler. Do I need a ruler? No. Um, I want to make some uh, notches, some thumb notches, like these ones over here. Um, <clears throat> a brad for the closure and some bits and bobs for decorating. So nothing really special, no embossing machines or whatever. No. Just some regular stuff and some beautiful large book pages. I have chosen these three book pages that I want to use. Yeah. Uh, one is going to be a pocket in the middle. And the other two are going to be pockets on the sides that flip over. Okay. Joey made it very easy on herself. Well, not a deliberate, of course. She just folded the pages up and then cut them in half. And that was her size. I want to be a little bit more deliberate of what I will be showing on the on the cover of the pockets. This will not be a problem, but this has a lot of text here. This has a lot of text there. So I want to be a little bit more deliberate and I'm going to um, cut one to size, the size that I think would work, and then cut the other ones according to that size. Yeah, so what I'm doing is making it very hard on myself. Yes. Yes, I am. I absolutely love Joey's sort of eclectic style. She uses all different sorts of paper and styles all together. It's like a sort of a mix, a mix and match um, style. I love it. And I'm very jealous because I would love to work like that. But I'm not there yet. I am, I am too matchy matchy, I, I guess. <laughs> I'm, I having, I'm having a hard time. Uh, mixing some certain styles together but i will get there and she does the most beautiful like uh, drawings and uh, watercolors and oh, it's beautiful beautiful um unfortunately i do not enjoy watercoloring and drawing i am sorry i love it i i i think it's very beautiful 
but I cannot do it myself. This is the size that I'm going for. Yeah? Okay. What size is that? Ooh, let me see. Seven and a quarter by... Bum, 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 bum. Eight and eight and one eighth. And one eighth, yeah. So not really that precise. So what I'm going to do, I am going to cut these two pages to that same size as well. I just want to have this beautiful image uh, on one of the pockets. Let me quickly cut these to size for you. I have all my pieces to size. Uh, I want to do it a little bit more calculated. <laughs> I want this one to be the flap. So the left hand pocket. I want this one to be the left hand pocket because I want this picture to be beautiful and this picture to be beautiful. Yeah. So I'm using this image because I think that'll work very well. So I put on left, left. Then I want this to be um, on the right side because also it shows two uh, sides of this. So two images and one will be this and one will be that. I would love that. And so this is going to be my middle pocket. Um, I'm just doing that because I want there to be equal parts everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's start with the middle pocket, yeah? I want this to be the front, so I'm flipping it over. There you go. This would also have been lovely. We're going to make one uh, fold over here, like a half an inch or a centimeter, just a strip. Once, oh, this was so easy. I'm going to use a bone folder. Guys, if you're a beginner, you don't have a bone folder, you just use the, the handle of your scissors or something else that is you can flatten it with. Yeah? Okay, so when I open this up, I'm going to make another fold at the bottom. Like so. Again, about a centimeter or almost half an inch. So then we have this. Now I want to fold this in and fold this whole bit over all the way to the end. Have it flush against this line, making sure everything lines up. Look at that image. Yes, I love it. And there you go. So these are all the folds. Now we have to do some snippy snippies. There we go. I took out my scissors. I'm going to start here at the top. And I'm just going to take a little piece off. Just slant it. Just this tiny piece. See? Doing that on the other side here at the bottom as well. Just a little bit. And then here at the bottom we have like a little square. There's a little square here. I want to cut a little bit before the square in an, at an angle and also on the other side at an angle. Like so. Then we have a fold here in the middle. Um, and then you, you cut a pizza pie. <laughs> That's just a, a, a piece of pie and I'm always talking about pizza pie because I'd rather have pizza than a normal pie. So you can make a snippy here and a snippy here. I just, you fold it in and make snippy like so. One cut, two snippies. Yeah. Okay. So this is like the prototype of uh, almost all the pockets. Now we need to do some gluing. I'm going to use just regular glue stick. You can use well any sort of glue you have. I'm just going to use this one, the, the smaller one. And I want to add something extra. This, this is something that Joey didn't do, but that's okay. Because I am always having to do my own thing, my own spin on it. This will be the front of the pocket. And I want to make a big notch before I glue it down. And this is my one and a half circle punch. Eyeballing it. There you go. And also what I love to do is uh, inking. So I already inked this bit because we're going to glue this down. And now I'm going to ink this bit over here. Yeah. And I'm going to do the rest later. So now for the gluing. And Joey just explained this so well. So I'm going to use it exactly as she taught me. 
this is the uh, vertical line. Then we need the bit that is all the, the that's the farthest away. This bit. Yeah, it was so brilliant, Joey. Thank you. That made so much sense. So this bit we're gonna glue down, putting a little bit of glue on the inside, folding it up, pressing it down. Yeah, and then she also glued these two pieces together so they will hold. Now I want to glue all the way down this strip, all the way down this strip. Yeah, and then fold it in. If you're gonna do the notch, be sure that you do it on the side, the front of your pocket. Middle pocket, pocket number one. Next pocket, this will be the right side pocket, right hand pocket. I put an R there for right, yeah? So I'm flipping it over. What I want to do now is make the hinge over here. So I am making a fold that is about one and a half centimeters to two centimeters. Like almost an inch. There's one. Yeah. Let's just imagine that this is now our new page, the page that we work with, um, the same page as we used this one for. So now it's the sim uh, same principle. We're going to fold a little strip here, and that will be the one centimeter strip or the half an inch strip. And there you go. And then also one at the bottom. Try to make it equal to the other pocket that you made. You could measure this all out. You could, but that's boring. And also a lot of work and eyeballing works just as well. Sometimes, most of the time. <laughs> Good. Now we made our folds. We're going to do the snippy bits again, which means a snippy here on top. Also on this other side. They're sort of a, not a square, but a rectangle here. A snippy on both sides. And then there is a square here, a snippy here, and a snippy here. Okay, so now this is sort of the tricky bit. Because um, my instincts tell me to fold this all the way up to the edge. But that's not what we're going to do. I'm going to fold it up all the way to this edge yeah so to this edge over here because this pocket is going to be a lot smaller no i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry i made a mistake i was like that small no of course not fold this open and then fold it all the way to this edge <laughs> see it wasn't so easy as i thought it would be Folding it all the way over to this edge, yeah. That's it. So now we can do the snippy in the middle. Yes. Right. Okay. The inking, the inking first. This is going to be the pocket, so this is going to be the front. I'm going to ink where the notch will show there you go I'm making the notch on the pocket like so inking again right done with the inking now for the gluing this was the vertical straight line so i'm gonna glue this bit on first there you go, yes, gluing this corner over here, like so, and then this vertical line and this one, folding it over, 
There you go. Joey has like this sort of sheet that she puts all the steps on and she also puts it on Pinterest. And that's a lot of work, Joey. I mean, hat off to you. My hat's off to you because, wow. A lot of preparation goes into that story. Okay, so we have two pockets now. This one and this one. And eventually we will attach this together. So we have one fold. Let's do the left side. The left side, I'm gonna flip it over. Um, let's see. No, I have to think now because this is going to attach like so. So we need a big fold here. I'm sorry, I just needed to check. The pocket that's going on the left hand side, we're gonna make the big flap on the right hand side. Does that make any sense? Well, it does now. It does now. So, making the bigger fold over here. Yep. The smaller fold on the other side. Yep, and then the one on the bottom. There you go. We're getting the hang of this. Some snippies. I want to have one here, one there. Why are we making these? Because when you fold it in without doing the snippies, sometimes this part uh, rises up uh, to this part. Yeah, so you can see it on the other side. We don't want that. It just makes it uh, look a little bit more finished, I guess. There you go. And then this is the other corner over here. Again, we have to make this fold in the middle so this will be folded all the way up to this bit. Yes, I, I, I remember it now. I remember it now. <laughs> Let's see. Yes. So this is going to be the left hand pocket. That looks amazing. Oh, I really love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, this is the front of the pocket. I want to have this over here. If you hear some humming noise in the background, I live near a very big park. It's like right in front of my house. And uh, they have like these big mowers now and then. So they are mowing the park. And that's what you hear. Put the ink here and this bit. Uh, that part will show. Okay, that's all the inking. Now let's do some gluing. Oh no, we needed the snippy first. You forgot one. This one was the artist from the straight line. Gluing that one down first. Then we want this corner. There you go, and then all these sides, yes. Now do, let's do some assembling. Oh, throwing stuff on the floor, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to assemble this. I did do all the inking. I just inked all around it, all around this pocket as well, and this pocket. I just left a bit because I want to show you. Uh, I also want to ink this part. I just, you know, turned this flap to the to the back, and then you can ink it this part as well. I just like to ink all the edges that will be visible, visible, visible later. I'm sorry, so Dutch now and then. There you go. So. Let's do some gluing. I'm gonna start with the right hand pocket. It doesn't really matter. You can also start on the other side if you want to. Again, just using the glue stick. 
on around here and I'm gluing it to the back of the middle pocket. I'm just lining it up and then having a good eye at the bottom. I just want to line it up at the bottom and not at the top. Fold it over. When you turn it back up, there will be a gap in between. And that's what we want because we want the, um, the pocket thingies to fold over easily and not be that bulky. So this actually, the gap you see here is a very good thing. So that's what we want. So there's one side, there we go. Now I'm gonna do the other one. Same principle, just, just add glue, add glue. Lining it up, especially at the bottom, folding it over, flipping it back, and there's another gap in between these two parts. All right, this flips over here and this flips over there. Great. Or you could have it like the other way around. Whatever you want. But when we make the closure, you need to make up your mind. Do you know there's actually a song on this cover now? Because this is... Sage, Rosemary and Thyme. We just need Parsley. I believe that's a song. Parsley, Sage, Rosemary and Thyme. An old folk song. Is it Irish or Scottish? I don't know. UK people, you tell me. You know that one, right? Yeah. I was just like, oh, this is Sage. Oh, this is uh, Rosemary this time. So it reminded me. Okay, let's first make the closure and then do some pockets. Okay, so for the closure, we need uh, two circles. I have one sort of card stocky. This is a little bit heavier paper. And then I cut some out of the encyclopedia. Isn't that cute? It's like a little flower. I love it. So I'm going to glue these two together to make them a little bit more sturdier. And there you go. Oops. Okie dokie. Already inked all around them. What I could have done is before I glued this pocket shot, then sort of already added uh, this closure to it. But we didn't. And um, also Joey didn't either. She just put it on an extra piece of sort of paper. I used like a, what this is, is this? A baggage tag or something, a luggage tag. Uh, and I actually think that's a very nice touch. So what I want to do is uh, get a nice piece over here and then put this on. Let me get something nice. I think I want to use an actual um, Takara tea card on this one. I had a question about these. Where do you get them? Well, in the Netherlands, they are sort of... Um, well, not really that common, but you can find them in big, big books. And then you have to soak all the pages and get them out that way. I think this looks nice because it's also like a long plant thingy. Yes. So I'm going to use this. Um, so you can find them in the, in the books. Uh, if you really want some, I will have some in the shop. I think by the end of uh, next week, end of the first week of June, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm hoping it, I will manage it. Also took out a bread. Look how cute this is. It's like a very small green flower. Yes. So I need to make a hole. Taking my pokey tool, also known as all. Trying to sort of gauge the middle. There you go. Oh, also need to poke a hole in this one. Let's just see, because this will stick out a bit. And I don't mind that. I think that is actually really, really cute. Yeah. It's actually a, in a, an important uh, step that I just... You no, know, no, it has to be... No, no, no. I'll tell it one more time. <laughs> This has to be uh, positioned in such a way so that you can still put the flap underneath, yeah? So it will probably stick out a bit. At the other one, this just, it fit. 
somehow this bit was bigger than this one so with this one it fit but this uh, at this one it will stick out that is no problem what you can also do is trim the edge what what are you talking about margaret let me show you um first why is this not working because it has very very tiny legs something nobody ever said me said to me you have very tiny legs no okay so we're having this flush against the edge and this will stick out but that is okay no problem I was thinking about having this as another sort of tuck spot but there's already so much going on um, but you could have this as a tuck spot then just glue it on one side flush to this edge there you go yeah that looks amazing already and now you can tuck this under see what you can do is just cut this this bit that's sticking out i'm not gonna do it because i like it this way i like it this way let's make some more pockets for the pockets i want to have i do not want to have a pocket on the on the front i just want to decorate this when we open it up i want to have a tuck spot here i want to have like some sort of a belly band kind of narrow long tuck spot pocket here then i want a diagonal pocket here and i want something special on the back if you are going to glue it into your uh, journal you do not, not have to need uh, you do not need to decorate the back no because it's going to be glued down i would not glue it down all the way i would glue it down at three sides like one two three have a pocket here or a top loading pocket Let's get started with the first pocket. I want to have a diagonal one over here. I already uh, found some pieces that I want to use. I want to make this into a diagonal pocket. So I am lining my piece of paper. I'm, leave, I'm leaving a little bit of room and on all four edges. Well, on all three, two edges. Hon. There's only two edges here. Yeah. And I'm making a mark a little bit higher than I want the pocket and a little bit beyond this uh, fold over here why you, you, you don't need that i know i know i know but i'm gonna show you a trick something that i like to do lining those po two points up and then cutting it i'm gonna do it a little bit further oops there we go as you can see this pocket is way too long i know i know i know what I want to do is just make another fold here. Doesn't have to be big. It's even better when it's not too big. Just to go a little bit further. Yep. Because I just want this edge to be nice. When you put something in, it's very delicate paper. It could rip or tear or, you know, whatever. So I don't want that. So I am cutting off these edges that are sticking out. It's like a paper hat now. In the Netherlands we would we would say 1, 2, 3, 4, hoedje van papier. Paper hat. Will this fit? See? It will. What you could also do, uh, instead of folding it in, put a little bit of lace on the edge or washi tape. You can do, you know, whatever. I'm just inking it. I love all the colors on here. Isn't they lovely? I so hope Joey is watching. I hope Joey is watching. Oh, uh, Because maybe I can tell you, Joey, how much I love you. Yes, you are wonderful. Let me tell you, the first time I saw your one of your videos, talking to Joey now, guys, just, you know, you are eavesdropping. <laughs> I was like, what sort of a bbc program am i watching because you have like the best voice ever so like 
soothing and professional. It's like watching a BBC like series on how to do this. So there, that's a compliment. Oh, hoping you will take it as such. No, I love you. And I love your style. I mean, you are getting me out of my comfort zone. Normally I wouldn't do this. Like, oh, look at all these colors and prints together. No. Using art for this because I just want a very small line of glue on here. And that way it leaves a little bit more room for stuff to put in. There you go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm going to do this, the same uh, principle. I just made a fold, so this line is very nice. And I am going to make a pocket, making sure I am not going farther than the thumb notch here. I just want to have it a little bit before that end. Making a mark. I really hope my eyeballing this time is a sort of okay. I do not want to get my cutting mat out for this. There you go. Hopefully this is straight. If not, then it's crooked. There you go. Is this small enough? It is. Now we just need to cut it over here. Can I do this with scissors? Straight-ish? Sure. Sure. Okay, so I'm gluing this bit down. It's just to reinforce the entrance of the pocket a little bit. Why is it not gluing? This is art paper. Do you know who you are dealing with? You're dealing with art. There we go. Now some quick inking. I will, I think I will try to link um, well, I will link Joey's channel for those of you who are, who are like living under a rock. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm really kidding. Uh, and have not seen Joey's channel yet. She is very, very popular. I love her a bunch. Uh, and maybe even if, if I can do that, link the video. The real tutorial, not the, you know, amateur one. Oh, I love this. Woo! I do like it. Gluing on this bit and this bit. And all over here. Do not uh, glue it upside down, love. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. Do you have gluey fingers? Yes. There we go. For this pocket, I want to make sort of a tuck spot with one of the Fakale cards, these tea cards. I have two of those. Yeah. Is it upside down? No. There's a K here. It's supposed to be there. Well, I, I like it better this way. I like it better that way. I'm not going to do much to it. I am just going to glue it on two sides. I am gluing it upside down, but I think the image looks much better that way. But hey, that's just me. Easy as peasy. For the last pocket, I have an idea. So I have an idea for the back. I want to have uh, slots on here. 
I was thinking about using my uh, die cut from Tim Holtz, um, but I uh, promised you guys I would not use my die cut machine. I could also have used these. I have these smaller ones that you can make slots in. But before I had all of these, a long, long time ago, I made them myself. So I'm going to show you a trick. I already measured a piece of paper that I really want to use on here. It's a little bit smaller on all four sides. So there you go. I want to make three sort of slots that you can have your cards in, but I have to do some measuring. I want my first slot to be at like two inches, then at three inches. I'm just going to do it like this and then at four inches. Yes, also on the other side. Hopefully this will show up. Two inches, three inches, and four inches. I'm just going to make a line with a pencil. Just going to draw a line. Here's two. And the last one. Here's three. What you can use now, if you have this device, I love this one. The one this is um, by We Are Memory Keepers. We use it all the time. It's called a crocodile, also a crocodile. You can use this little handy tool that I have. I found these at uh, Flying Tiger. It's also a whole perforator thingy, a one hole. If you don't have this, you probably have one of these. These all make holes, yeah? Okay, I am going to use this one because it has a setting on how far you want the hole to be. I'm going to use the smaller hole. Are you going to use a smaller hole? Yes, and I'm going to put it at, this is probably half an inch. Yes, why am I doing that? I want all the holes to be at the same um, depth of the paper. I'm going to line it up with the line that we made. This is too big. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to have it at like half an inch or a quarter of an inch. Lining up that you see the stripe that we made, the little line. Punching a hole also at the next one. Punching a hole. Please, please, little piece of paper. Leave my device. And then the last one. Flipping it over on the other side. You could have as many as you want, of course. Okay. So now we have six holes. Yay, Margaret, we have six holes. Woohoo! Okay. I'm going to take a ruler and you need a knife, an exacto knife as they call it, a crafting knife, you could use a Stanley knife, a swivel knife, any sort of knife you have. You could use your scissors, but I do not recommend this. Um, there are tiny circles here. I am not going to make the cut in the middle of the circle. Let me just try to zoom you in. I'm not going to um, cut on this line. I'm going to cut a little bit before it and a little bit after it yeah so not in the middle of the circle just a little bit to each side stay within the circle i'm gonna flip it over and then also on the other side See, we made slots. Isn't that amazing? Now, when we when we glue it down, you can uh, put cards in here. Trick? Yeah, very very good trick. I'm gonna do the other two off camera, and then we're going to glue it down. I did the other two slots, inked all around it, rounded the corners, and now I'm just going to glue it on using art glitter glue again. If you, what you also could do 
is before we punch the holes and made the slots, put a strip of washi tape there, just in advance. In that case, the whole bit will be sort of reinforced. You could do that. And there you go. Okie dokie. I try to ink a little bit in between the, the slots here to make a sort of mark where they are. There you go. But I'm going to put cards in anyway. Let's quickly see how this will, this will look. I think it will look lovely. Here's one card. Here's another one. Oh, you could have it like so. <laughs> See? Isn't that absolutely cute? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So you don't need these fancy die cuts. However, um, I recommend this one. Yeah, I highly recommend it because I use it a bunch for all sorts of uh, projects. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than uh, my Ali, Uncle Ali wants, but well worth it. So I'd use it. Okay, I want to do a little bit more decorating with some bits and bobs. I already picked out some bits and bobs that I want to use in here. These are all sort of botanical related. Uh, there's no pocket on the front, so I'd like to have a big label like this one. And then maybe a smaller one. Something like this? Yeah. These are, of course, Tracy Fox labels. Uh, if you cannot find Tracy Fox on Etsy, it's because it's not called Tracy Fox. It's called Love Junk Journals. I'm just using glue stick. Maybe the smaller one. There's another one going there. Don't know which one yet. On the back, I want to have this one, I guess. Or maybe this one. Yeah, let's have that one. Let's have that one. Never use these. It's sort of a tag shape. I have a stamp like this, right? Oh, something similar to this. There you go. Does it need sort of a number here? Don't know yet. Let's open it up. What else do we have? Um, oh, something here. Or here. Let's use another one of these. Just need to ink the white edges a little bit. Yes, that looks lovely. Now on the inside, I don't need to have a lot on here. Oh yeah, that works for me. I love all the colors. It is so cute. Do I have a small one for over here? Or shall we have one that goes like so? We could do that. Yeah. I prefer to have, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not in frame. To have these labels just to remove the, the corners. I don't know. I just like it like that. go something on the top I don't know I did want to have one more over here right yeah also really like this one natural history specimen yes there's not a specimen to be found in this trifle, but, you know, uh, whatever. Something more on the back. 
Yes. Put this one over here. Oh, this doesn't look bad, actually. Doesn't. No, I'm just going to put it there. I was like, I cannot put anything on a Fakata card. Well, apparently, you can, love. You can. So good. We're good, right? Yes. Let's go see the end result. Here it is, guys. My... Joey trifles. Let's call it a Joey trifles. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Oh, I love I love this paper so much. I never thought about doing anything with them other than you know fussy cut or make envelopes. So we open it up like so. And there's this beautiful vintage tea card. I put some tea cards just behind. It's a tuck spot. And then we have the closure here with a lovely little flower. We open it up. We have some sort of a tuck spot, belly band kind of pocket here. And then a triangle pocket there. And then, of course, we have three large pockets. Yeah, they need to have tags. I'm just picking out a random large tag that I have. So it needs some beautiful tall tags in it. Guess what? I am making that tomorrow. Yeah, I just decided I want to make some beautiful big large tags for this trifold. Yeah. And then in the back we have these little slots. I do hope you, you can make these. It's such a simple trick and um, I'm, I'm certain if you do it once you will do it again and again because it's very lovely. There you go. I need to say a big thank you again to uh, Joey, not only for this lovely tutorial, but you know, for being very kind to me. She subscribed to my channel. I mean, what? Yes, thank you, Joey. Um, and I'll be making a lot more of your projects because I love them. Guys, I see you back again tomorrow. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a um, uh, comment in the section below i will also link a couple of videos joey's channel hopefully joey's video if i can manage that and uh, the video of the beautiful wallpaper envelopes that we made with this closure as well and i'll see you back again tomorrow bye guys